River by Eminem and Ed Sheeran. This song has the same chord sequence throughout it, though there's a bit of a signature riff at the start, but it is the same chords. The important thing is uh, to play along to the record of this song, you'll need to get into E flat tuning. I've done this, uh, I've taught you how to get into E flat tuning, which is also known tuning a semitone down, tuning each string a semitone down. You can do that by following this video, but you don't need to do that to learn the song. You only need to tune down if you're going to play along to the original. So I've stayed in standard tuning so that we can learn the song together without you having to tune down and only tune down if you want to uh, jam along to the record, which I hope you do, but you don't need to do that every time you want to jam this song. And uh, let's learn the intro first. So the intro begins on an A power chord, which is just played by plucking string 5 and 4 and by having the first finger on uh, the second fret of string 4. And we're going to always pluck uh, string five and four, okay, for every one of these uh, chords for the intro. Just plucking each chord once. The next chord is a C power chord played at the third fret on string five, and then the little or third finger, but I would suggest for most people the little finger is the best uh, to go to the fifth fret and play them together like that. Then the middle finger moves to the eighth fret and the first finger moves to the uh, seventh fret of string four. Middle fingers on string five, and we pluck them together. Just those first and second finger down, and then move back to the C. So in total, one, two, three, third fret, eighth fret, and back down. The second time we go through this, just slide these two up two frets, one, two, and that takes the middle finger to 10th fret. That gives us... And it's this same rhythm that we'll be playing with open chords in one second. We can play each of those with open chords, which is how we want to strum through the rest of the song. Those open chords would be, uh, open chords just use open strings. They would be a standard A minor. My thumb's over the top just to mute the thickest strings so I can strum all six strings when the strumming gets a bit more tricky later on. Going to a C major chord briefly, only the third finger has to move. Then the best thing to do would be to go to a barred F chord. Though we could go to what I call a little hybrid F, which is only barring with the thinnest two strings, uh, second, third and finger in the same place, and thumb either muting or indeed holding down this one. There's a more full tutorial on that hybrid F just here and different options with the F chord, the tricky F, the Fing F chord. So this would go A minor two, three, C, F, two, three. And then after that F chord, we're actually gonna to go to a G chord. So then we go A minor two, three, C, F, two, three, G. A minor, C, F, G. That's the first chord sequence. All we do the second time round on every other rep repetition is go to the D minor instead of the G. So from the top, A minor, two, three, C, F, two, three, G, A minor, two, three, C, F, D minor briefly. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This is also virtually the same chords as Stan as well, the old Eminem and Dido song. It is young cold, I'm wondering why I got out of bed at all. The morning ray clouds up my window and I can see it all. <laughs> like there's some differences, but they're virtually the same. They're even in the same tuning as well. Another one to check out if you want to. I love it when artists have very similar songs. It makes them much easier to learn. Uh, strumming pattern. 
we're gonna go for the standard strumming pattern, which is down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. This is something that I call, I nicknamed Daft Punk strumming because the first lesson I taught this in on YouTube was for Get Lucky. Um, I've got a couple of videos on that. I'll try and remember to link to them here, but I might forget. It's essentially a 16th strumming pattern. If you can't do this, search YouTube for 16th strumming pattern, 16th strumming pattern, and this will coach you how to get to this level. And as I say, if I remember, I'll link to it up here. We're going for down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And as a brief explanation of that 16th strumming, for every bar, we're strumming 16th times in a down and up motion. So 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and that is how we would count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 per bar. Um, but this isn't a dance class or any kind of other class of the music. In music, we only count to four. That's the joke. You know, musicians are not going to maths. We can only count to four. So we always count one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. If he's really struggling with that, just stick to the A minor and the F and try that strumming. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. And then add in the other chords. Three, four, one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then you can just emphasize certain strums and you can get the same effect, an even better effect, as actually hitting down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And that's just, it's generally, learning the downs and ups is genuinely too confusing a way to learn rhythm. The important thing when you're learning rhythm is to know the rhythm that you're going for. So just keep that same strumming motion, that 16th motion going, and think. And it will become much more instinctive for you. You will learn strumming patterns much easier, thinking of the rhythm and then the actual strumming motion separately and then trying to do them together. Hopefully that helps. Check out loads more Ed Sheeran songs on my Andy Guitar YouTube channel and get all your strumming and chord help at the website at andyguitar.co.uk and I'll see you in another lesson.